Hey folks, this is Dick O'Hearent, and welcome back to RimWorld. So, a couple things before we get going. Snake. I'm not sure what to do about Snake anymore. In fact, I think I'm actually going to get rid of Snake. This whole depressive personality trait, minus 12 all the time, that is a really unpleasant moodlet. Um, at the moment, you know, it's being counteracted by high expectations, but that is going to drop off, and then Snake will just have constant mental breaks. So I think that I'm going to get rid of Snake. Snake kind of sucks. Um... It would be nice to have an okay miner. No, there's not a lot of money to be done on this map until we get to deep drilling, but you know, there is some. But beyond that, Snake kind of sucks at everything else. Super immune would be nice, but you know what? Nah. We could execute you, but I'm just gonna let you go. Um, you're just a drain on our resources at this point. Um, we do need to build another wall out here just to get the rest of our storage fleshed out. Um, otherwise, it looks like we're not gonna starve to death, so that's nice. We are under tacked. And I need to get some more technologies going here. I'm still not totally sure that microelectronics was the right way to go, but I already did it, so... Alright, there we are. Um, I think that's it. I don't have the resources to build any solar panels, even though I researched them. Um, I probably should have put that effort into geothermal, because we have two vents right near us. But they're really expensive, and they get taken apart all the time by baddies. Explosively disassembled, if you will. So, I think things are okay at the moment. I don't know exactly what the point is of this allergy, but it does seem to be decreasing, um, let's see here. Yeah, your breathing is going down, consciousness is going down, um, but it's about to go away for you, so that's okay. Virgil is a little behind, but unfortunately, Virgil is my only smart person. Yeah, see, 99%, and then everything's gonna be fine. Ta-da, developed immunity. Building roof, and you are at 85, huh? Well... And this is going very slowly. 86. Maybe I will have someone else take over research. It's just that my next best thing is um, Hawk at a zero. <laughs> so it's like, that's almost the same as not having any research at all. So I'm thinking at this point that I'm not going to bother. So, alas. Um, I'd like some more traps, but once again, we're out of steel. Um, that's just kind of the way things are at the moment. Hawk has apparently decided to move everything around. That's nice. Uh, okay. Sure, you do that, buddy. Whatever makes you happy. I suppose that's because I moved the storage areas. Anyway, so, um... Yeah, extreme. See, now you're at... Minus 60% breathing, minus 15% consciousness. Yeah. Yeah, that's not great. I wouldn't want that, so I'm glad that we don't have to deal with it. So, go ahead and build the rest of my walls, and then we're gonna expand our storage. And I probably will have to move our kitchen up a little bit. I do wanna, um... You know, have space inside to be dedicated to the various production things. Um, we do need to get some beekeeping going. I need some more bee houses, frankly. Um, bees are just good in general, so we'll deal with that. Hey, wait a second. What's going to happen here? Oh! So, when you cut that down, you destroyed all the materials. That kind of sucks. Okay. Well... That is definitely a thing that happened. All right. Oh, and this should be non-medical. Yep. That's good. And then Hawk is mining away at a mining skill of, uh, 2. 2.03 now. You're rocking it, buddy. And Virgil is back on the job. Welcome back. All right, so let's close this off. Um, can I just harvest these? Yeah, just harvest it. So hopefully then we get something out of that. And we'll take this wall down, then we've got a bunch of storage. Life is good. We're getting closer. Um, I'll need to expand the base this direction too at some point so that I can make our growing area larger. Um, these are all very important things, but not at the moment. Alright, so you got that taken care of. Thank you very much. Go ahead and take... I guess you can take this whole wall down. There's no real reason to leave any of it. Alright. So the question is, what are we going to do after microelectronics? Um, there are several choices here. The thing is, is although it's nice to have turrets, and I desperately want them, um, making your own guns is really, really expensive. So I think that I may not do that. I think I'm really torn between drug production or doing the thing where our colony's not going to wipe because we have turrets. So I think it may be turrets, unfortunately. Tragic but true. And have we exposed any underground mountains yet? No, good. Okay. Poor Virgil. How are you doing? Yeah. I'm glad you're feeling better, though. A little bit better. And yeah, I know Waffle's wandering in and eating raw food. That's okay. I don't I don't care at the moment. It's fine. 
Waffle, you go ahead and you do whatever you want. Don't you listen to what these people tell you. Alright, move all our stuff in there, please. And Kitch has decided to have a daze. That's okay. That's fine. At the moment... Well... I guess it's not fine fine. But it kind of is what it is, so... Alas. Go ahead and wander around, you'll feel better later. And any underground mountain yet? No! Well, this is nice. Okay. I mean, this is yielding us some steel, which we need, because I'd like to do things like build more traps. Because at the moment, we do not have enough traps. Actually, I should have another door here, I think. That's probably one I'll take out later. But at the moment, I would like to, um... Be able to have a path here so that if wild animals decide to come attack us, they can come in in such a way that does not result in them setting off my traps. Because I do not want them setting off my traps. Because that is annoying. And we will hold this closed. And hold this new one open. Oh, you can come back here and just do it. You're so close. Okay, well, you're not that close. But you're kind of close. The point is you're going to finish it. Thank you for your help. Much obliged. And this one can get held open. I should make you guys some nicer tables, too. Kind of having you all wedged in this one little area is not real polite of me. Alright, well, let's take the ship chunk apart of here. Now, you failed. Okay. That's alright. You know, these things happen. I don't want you to feel bad about yourself. There we go. Microelectronics. Alright. So, yeah, let's go do the thing that results in us not wiping. And actually, I should put some storage in here. Um, I should have... Not meal racks. Food basket. That's what I'm looking for. Out of mushroom stalks. We'll put that in here, and that way um, I don't have to actually make this any bigger. Because <laughs> we'll be able to cram a whole bunch more food in there. Kitch just clap due to exhaustion. Kitch. Y y you could go sleep. I don't really have a way to make you do that, though. Because this is during your work period. So, alas. Hope you feel better soon. Oh, this is still medical and doesn't need to be. So this should actually be Virgil's. I don't want him sleeping out in the middle of the rooms. Um, I did set a zone so that our honey badger does not walk into the bedrooms at night and wake people up, so hopefully that will help a little. And that should allow basically everything. All foods. Yep. And this is set to important, so this should be set to... I guess we can set it to critical. That's fine. That'll keep it full. Whatever. I'm okay with that. Like I said, then I don't have to make this area any bigger. Um, the bug last time with the nutrient paste dispenser, I haven't thought about this in kind of a while. Um, things like that can happen when you move things, um, but you can get around it sometimes by deconstructing, or I'm sorry, uninstalling and then reinstalling it. Um, when it fails, I consider it to be punishment for cheesing the system, so <laughs> I just took it apart. No big deal. Poor Kate, sleeping on the ground. Okay, now it is your anytime period, so why don't you go get some food and go to bed. In an actual bed. You'll feel much better then. I promise. Alright, I see everyone's fallen through to mining. So that's okay. Um, there's probably better ways we could do that, but it's okay at the moment. Do we need to do any hunting? We've actually got 668 food. Um, these things hold a lot of food. So the way this storage mod works is that... Um, well, A, there's too many types of storage, but um, you get a penalty for keeping things in storage. It takes kind of a long time to put things in and take them out. Um, and animals can't use it, so hauling animals can't put them in there. Um, that is something that you can change if you want to. Um, I think that that's a fair trade-off. Let's you keep mining out our base. It's not the best idea, but it's an idea. Go ahead and do that. And we could probably keep expanding a little bit. Um, it wouldn't be a bad idea to have a solar panel or two. I don't really want to build bridges. But we don't have to, and I can still make this squarish if I do it like that. Put some solar panels in there, make it look nice, that kind of a thing. That'd probably be alright. He's like, oh god, I want to go cut some potatoes, please don't make me mine anymore with my mining of what, one? Oh no, you're up to 2.3. Oh, and there's our corn, alright, now we're not going to starve, good. And I'll decide when I feel like giving them meals. We'll see. At the moment, the pace is good for them. And I do need you to do a good job training Waffle. I mean, you're just trying to keep tameness, and you're failing at tameness. That's actually not great. Oh, you're, it's because you're the wrong person. Or was that Kitch? I couldn't tell. 
And by couldn't tell, I mean I wasn't paying enough attention. I suppose we could start training Waffle. Yeah. Give it a try. It's going to take a long time. Alright, thank you for building my walls here. Um, go ahead and harvest this giant Agrilux. And we'll put in a solar panel for the moment. And then maybe I can add a growing zone or something like that. Um, yeah. Well, that'll help. That'll give us a little bit of electricity. Yep, and I was able to turn off one of these coolers, so that's kind of nice. So go ahead and build this, please. In kind of a weird way there, thank you. And we should probably actually build some more mushroom stock bee houses as well. Um, I'm just about ready here to start switching over to start um, some proper production. We do want to start extracting honey. We want to uh, get some tailoring done. I don't remember if wearing like cowboy hats keeps you from um, getting that soaking wet debuff from the rain. I actually don't remember. I guess we'll find out soon, won't we? Because I'm going to make some. Because we have leathers. Which is amazing. And now we have solar power. Ta-da! Yay, that'll help quite a bit. Okay, so, now, let's go ahead and let's see what else we can build here. I mean, we don't have a lot of materials, so we do need to think through this carefully. Um, I need a tailoring bench. Soon. I need... Um... Didn't I already build a beekeeping workbench? Am I losing my mind a little more than usual? I feel suspiciously like I made one, and I do not see one, and the only thing I have in storage is this stove. Um... Huh. Okay, well we need one of those anyway. Um, so there's that. We're gonna have to keep building things out of stone and stuff like that too, which is unfortunate. Um, I don't even know if I can build some of this stuff out of stone, because we do want a honey centrifuge, but I can only build it out of, yeah, steel, so that's not great. Um... The bee research table we can build out of mushrooms. The beekeeping workbench we can build out of mushrooms. I swear to god I have one of these. But they're big. So, apparently I don't. Okay. Well, that's the thing. Go ahead and build a copy down here. And we'll just start accumulating honeycombs and stuff like that at least. So we do need some more bee stalks. Or some, some more bee stalks. Some more mushroom stalks. So we may need to... Go and do some more harvesting. Yeah. I believe the mod author told me that I should be using harvest and not cut plant. Because otherwise I won't necessarily get any resources out of it. Now this isn't being blocked. Okay, good. Go ahead and just put in whatever we have. It doesn't matter. We're not doing any hybridization or anything right now, so... Just throw some bees in there. Hey, smithing is done. Alright. Let's go ahead and let's go straight to machining. Because we'll need our machining table before too much longer. Doing a great job mining out the base here for me. Aha! And see, now we have uh, discovered some undermount areas. Now, can I use smooth walls? I've never tried doing this. Can you use smooth surface on this? No, you can't. Well, that's kind of interesting. Well, I'm gonna have to mine it out and then promptly build a wall there. Okay. Hmm. I mean, I guess that's fine. Like I said, I don't want to accidentally, you know, open us up to a bug invasion inside our base. Bugs that come from outside can be kind of fun. Bugs that come from inside your kitchen, not as fun. Not as fun at all. And especially because it takes them absolutely forever to actually get into this mind. Maybe I'll wait on this for just a second. You go ahead and smooth it. You know what? Let's play with fire. Mind those. And then we'll quick build a wall there. Yes, I love that plan. What are you up to, actually? I'm actually going to force you... That's a potato plant. I can't force you to do anything. That's terrible. Um, even though you're to mine, I need you to come mine this steel. So we need to get this done as fast as possible. M m mind you, having her do this is not the same as having it be done as fast as possible. But, that's not the point. I just need it done. And then, I think we're going to start with making some clothes. Yeah. Hey, there's one wall in, and Kate just decided to take care of this other section. Thank you very much. Oh man, I want to go tame these things, but we got to get Waffle taken care of first. And Waffle is not... Oh, hey, Waffle is not in the right spot. Waffle, you should be in animals when you're on... Normal should be animals. Yes, thank you. 
which is the entire map except for the bedrooms. And we're going to build a copy here. Now. Okay, good. Go ahead and do that. Alright. Just trying not to screw things up, you know. It's kind of weird having to mine out steel to increase the size of my base, but it's good enough. Okay. Okay, so while we've got a few minutes here, while well, nothing bad is happening, let's go ahead, let's replace this wall, and then I guess I actually probably should have already made the microelectronics workbench. But let's get this wall replaced quick, so we've got something proper sitting over there. And then we'll go ahead and we'll make that. That's actually really embarrassing that it took me that long to remember that. So I'm gonna have to ask you all to forget that, please. Just forget that that never even happened. Wait a second. Waffle is... can be mounted? Oh, that's... Wow! I didn't know that you could ride a honey badger. And honestly, I'm too terrified to try it. Okay, let's make sure I can actually make the microelectronics researcher bench. I'm sorry, the high-tech. Yeah, I can. So let's go ahead and let's just disassemble this one. This is just sandstone, but I don't need it. So someone will go ahead and come take that apart. And then I'll build the new one. Probably on an inside wall. I don't really want bad guys deciding to come in through this wall and then blow up my research bench, because they are quite expensive. And money is something that we're short on. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's get that built. Um... Or can I cram it in? This wouldn't be a bad spot. I mean, it's not a great spot, but it's not a bad spot. I mean, we can put a new sleeping spot over there. Let's go ahead and let's do that. Can I make that out of anything else? <laughs> I can make it out of silver. That's an even worse idea. And then we'll, I'm sorry, we'll reinstall this here. I'll make you a nicer chair later. But at the moment, that's what you get. Could be worse. And you know, you guys really need a nicer table. We've got some slate. Let's make like a proper table. Do we want to make any interesting tables? Rimkia, we still don't have anything cool. Anything good in Furniture Plus? Not really. We'll just make you kind of a normal table. It kind of bothers me a little bit when, um, there's not enough places for people to sit. And I just feel like they're just kind of all, like, crammed into this little table. Like, I think you should have the same number of chairs in your dining area as you do colonists. That's something that I think should happen. I cannot believe that you can ride Waffle as a mount. That is so amazing. I love it to death. That's phenomenal. Oh, and now you're idle. Okay, well, um, in that case, mushroom stalks, for some reason, I am not getting them out of all these. I thought the agrilux yielded wood. Maybe it is cut plants, not harvest. Maybe I just need to do it manually. I mean, then that's fine. Harvest botched. Yeah, great, thanks. That's exactly what I needed, is for you to screw that up. I'm just going to pick these out at random here, by hand, and make sure this does what I think it's going to do. And... it did not. Oh yeah, there they are. Okay, good. Mushroom stalks. Excellent. So I can make chairs and stuff out of that. So, anyway. So Kitch is going to go ahead and make our table, even though I put it in the wrong spot. That's not where I wanted it, but that's okay. We'll move everything around here shortly, and then everything will be awesome. And I see that you're idle now, too. And I also see that it's been getting really cold at night. I didn't realize that um, that was already becoming an issue. Let's put a heater... Let's put it way down here, even though that requires running some power down there. We're going to need to run power down there anyway at some point, so we may as well just go ahead and do it now. It's going to be needed to power guns and stuff like that, so go ahead and do that. And this actually should probably be reinstalled, like, right... Right here. Or... Yes, right there, and that can become our new dining area. It'll be beautiful. Because this is steel, and I don't want that anyway. So reinstall these. Thank you. I should probably actually take those apart and get the steel back, but I'm not going to. Let's see here. I could actually make you furniture out of... Mushroom stalks? No. I guess I do have to make them out of steel. Well... Oh, that's interesting. I hardly ever have to use, like, minerals, so this is kind of cool. Let's make a slate stool, and then we've got enough. Perfect. I love it. Kitch, I don't know what you were doing. 
Failed. 0 out of 7, 49%. Meh. At least you tried, that's the important part. Colonist Idol. Hawk, what do I need you to do? We should really expand our base so that I can get a larger growing area going, because I am going to need that soon. So I tell you what, buddy, how about you work on hauling on a bunch more stone, because we're going to end up needing it. We'll use that, and we'll push our base out here, and we'll kind of keep moving things around. Now it's a good temperature. Yep, good. Oh, this room does not have a vent. Let's add a vent to it. That's tragic. I mean, it's an okay temperature inside. And yes, uh, inevitably someone says something about this, like, oh, you gotta turn off the AC or the heat or something. No, they're, they're set at the same set point, and they don't fight with each other. It's fine. It works perfectly well. And then you don't have to micromanage it. And it's strange to hear me say things like, and it's nice and I have to not micromanage it, but it is true. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, well, never mind then. I didn't know it did that. Huh. Well, mine it anyway, because I need it out of the way. A refugee. A deep space miner with one corporate soldier. Sure, welcome. Please be helpful, please be helpful. Ooh. Well. Aren't you going to be a valuable addition to our colony? Welcome. I am glad to see you. Um, no. Don't handle. I'm going to turn you off hunting so it stops whining at me. Um, obviously we want you as mining. We'll drop that down to four and everybody else. We're not doing any art, unfortunately. Um, you're not bad at construction. And you can help haul and clean as well. And beekeep, I suppose. Sure. Alright. Cool. Well, um, I haven't set up zones yet for indoors yet. Let's see here. Animals, you need an indoor area. Let's see here. This needs to be animal indoors. Okay, and let's get that set up correctly. Animal indoors can just be this for right now. That'll keep you inside. And then everyone else, let's go ahead and let's restrict you to the base. Um, okay, well I need to add a zone. Hey, there we go. Set that to base. That means that everyone's restricted to the home area. And I'll deal with your work priorities. I'll deal with them right now, actually. Looks like I'm letting you guys sleep in a little longer than I thought. Hmm. Well, whatever. And then you must have fun before bed. Whatever. You're slightly offset. It's okay. And I can turn this into um, a non-prisoner room. Just so you've got a spot. And if you could please close the door on the way in, I would greatly appreciate, appreciate that. And the soldier will not survive the traps. So, come on in. Yep, here's our raid. Hello. You're from the Blue Moon Corporation. A Gauss Rifle? Uh, wow. And what else are you rocking? Not much. Oh my! Oh, <laughs> and you came with a Manhunter... What is this? Pomonoscorpius? What is a Pomonoscorpius? The biggest land scorpion to ever exist. A solitary predator capable of taking down creatures much larger than itself with its deadly venom. Its stings should be stayed away from at all costs. And you died. So that is actually pretty funny. And now you're going to come attack us, which is less funny. Oh, machining's done. Good. Okay, and let's move towards gunsmithing. And I lost track of the thing. Okay, so it's still coming in. It's going to eat our traps, but that's okay. Um, all of you guys come get your defensive positions. I realize that... Catch, where's your gun? Do you not have... I thought you had a defensive position. Okay, maybe not. And then, do I have any weapons for you at all at the moment? No. Come equip this. <laughs> we'll take a bow and arrow versus a scorpion. And then we're going to go fetch us a Gauss rifle is what we're going to do. And that's going to be amazing. Come on up here. Oh, I am excited about that. Okay, so the two traps killed it. But let's get you guys set up for defensive positions anyway. Okay, so now, let's go ahead and let's unrestrict you all. Just, I guess auto is whatever. And the same with the animals. Um, we can just set you to... Oh, you're still set to normal. I forgot to send you inside. Well, I'm really, really glad that you didn't die then. 
Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, where's the dead guy down here? Here he is. I don't care if you sit and rot, but this needs to be... This is even art. This is engraved with an artwork of an empty toque. If you squint your eyes, the unbalanced composition of an image reveals the outline of dozens of automatons. The symbolic style of the central scene clashes with the romantic depiction of the background. Someone please come get that. My oh my, and who is going to get this fun toy? Almost certainly Kitsch. None of you are very good shots. Oh yeah, Ancient Danger. Which is, yeah. Um, this one. Okay, good. Um, actually... I think Eden's gonna get it, to be honest. Eden's almost at a 10. You are greedy, but that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. You come grab this. Remember when she showed up with, like, waving this machine pistol and I thought it was super funny? Turns out that was still super funny. Well! Welcome to the team! This is very exciting. You have tattered apparel, that's fine. I'll get your apparel sorted out soon enough. Um, I think this might actually be a good time to take a break. So, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.